We start with the star-studded <laughs> Critics' Choice Awards because Chelsea Handler, she hosted and she also roasted. Yes, indeed, she did. Ooh. Folks were wondering if Chelsea would make fun of ex-Joe Coy's Golden Globes <laughs> backlash. She did, but that wasn't the only thing that Chelsea handled. I'm your host, Microdose Barbie. Robert De Niro and Harrison Ford are here. Both of you are total smoke shows. And I know you're both spoken for, okay? So I'm not hitting on you, but I am hitting on you. Thank you for laughing at that. My writers wrote it. That's Chelsea getting in a dig at her ex, who just a week ago threw his writers under the bus. I wrote some of these, and they're the ones you're laughing at. But the Critics' Choice writers are coming under fire for scripting this awkward moment. And then there are the actors who also think that they're singers. Jack Black. <laughs> Ariana DeBose. Ariana wasn't laughing. Life is all right in America. The 32-year-old Broadway vet and Oscar winner was blunt on Instagram. No, I didn't find it funny. LOL. A-listers delivered dramatic fashion. Couples, including Ali Wong and Bill Hader, kissed. And there's this very real husband and wife moment between Harrison Ford and Callista Flockhart before they realized they were on camera. Harrison received the Knight's Career Achievement Award. I want to thank my lovely wife. He taught me so much when we made Temple of Doom. He's Harrison Ford, he's Indiana Jones, he's Han Solo. Backstage, Jen Aniston got a big hug from Oprah. And you couldn't see it on TV, but she was actually seated across from her ex, Justin Theroux. Congratulations tonight being nominated for The Morning Show. Season four, have you seen a script? Oh, we've started. Yeah, and? I don't even know where to begin. Should be fun. As for reports that the Friends cast will reunite at the Emmys tonight for a Matthew Perry tribute, well, Jen was coy. I don't know what you are talking about. How do you hope everyone continues to celebrate Matthew's legacy? Celebrate him. And it wouldn't be a 2024 award show without a Barbie takeover. But could we see Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling team up again? You and Ryan are gonna continue that wonderful working relationship. You have the Ocean's Eleven prequel. That's still, that's still in development, so that, that's not necessarily true, but we love working together and we wanna find something else to do together. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Ken. Ryan, how much Kennergy tonight? Ryan, who chatted with Bradley Cooper during a commercial break, went viral for his shocked look as I'm Just Ken won Best Song, beating out two other Barbie hits by Billie Eilish and Dua Lipa. Songwriter and producer Mark Ronson says he's down for Barbie on Broadway. Are you excited for the possibility to write more songs? I have actually written 12 and I'm just waiting for the call. No. <laughs> How badly do you guys want to see Ryan on stage at the Oscars performing this song? Like the, the most badly you can imagine. <laughs> During the show, America Ferreira was emotional as Margot presented her with the See Her Award for advocacy for representation and delivering this movie moment turned mantra. You have to be thin, but not too thin. And you can never say you want to be thin. You have to say you want to be healthy. Greta, thank you for proving that women's stories have no difficulty achieving cinematic greatness and box office history at the same time. Watch me dance. You are in Barbie, and then you've got Argyle coming out. Yes. Is acting the priority at the moment? Music's always the priority. Did you hurt someone? It was so incredible to see you make your acting debut. Will we see you act again? For sure, for sure. What's the dream role? I don't know, I think like something a little darker. Meanwhile, James Marsden was feeling the Kennergy of being in the same room as Ryan leading up to The Notebook's milestone anniversary. 20 years since The Notebook, and you and Ryan Gosling are both here tonight. How does that feel? Uh, sobering. <laughs> it's been 20 years. Ryan and I will have to share a little cheers tonight in, in, in remembrance. The jury duty nominee brought 22-year-old son Jack as his plus one and had a red carpet run-in with Mark Ruffalo and his 22-year-old son Keen. Mark also gave his Poor Things co-star Emma Stone a kiss on the cheek, leading up to her Best Actress win. There are some real special scenes in Poor Things. Why do people not just do this all the time? Yeah, I mean, they're, all that stuff's super, it's super funny. It's Sex gets so, like, people are so hung up, as if they haven't already done it, or tried it, or wish they could. 
And two days after Tom Holland denied breakup rumors with Zendaya, who unfollowed him and everyone else on Instagram. People are saying you and Zendaya are broken up. Can you clear that up? No, 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 absolutely. Tom's younger brother Harry was back by his side at the Critics' Choice. We also got this Marvel reunion fellow nominee Spidey and Iron Man himself, Robert Downey Jr. How do you describe this era of Tom? It's definitely the next chapter to sort of do some new things and push myself in ways I didn't think I could. I feel very secure and happy. Other stars making it a family night? May December's Charles Melton, who brought sister Tammy, and The Morning Show's Reese Witherspoon, who posed with lookalike daughter Ava after bringing son Deacon to the Golden Globes. My son over there, my 20-year-old amazing son, Will Parker. Backstage, Reese's co-star Billy Crudup posed with his son, who he raised with ex Mary Louise Parker. He's a sophomore in college and has already made two feature-length films and just uh, starting to play at his school. So I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to just keep up with him. Lenny Kravitz hit the carpet without daughter Zoe, but her upcoming I do's to Channing Tatum are on his mind. Have you started thinking about what you might say or what that moment might look like? It, it, it just comes at the moment. I, I don't I don't rehearse those, those things. Speeches? Oh yes, absolutely, but from the heart. Rebecca Romaine showed up solo. Hubby Jerry O'Connell was in sweats as she got red carpet ready. Rebecca spoke out for the first time since her ex John Stamos claimed in his memoir he felt emasculated during their marriage as she outgrew him. I was very surprised by all that. Incredibly shocked actually. It was I was sort of blindsided by it. But you know, I don't I don't really want to help him sell his books based on those headlines, so that's all I really want to say about it. <laughs> Well, Carrie Mulligan had plenty to say about her Saltburn co-star, Jacob Elordi, hosting SNL this weekend. Oh, that's so exciting. We know that he can do amazing dramatic work. How funny is he? Is he funny? Oh, very funny and very silly. Such a sweetheart. I mean, literally the sweetest boy. I love him. I love him. And when I met him, I didn't know he was going to be so nice because in Euphoria, he's so terrifying. Um, but he's the best. He's going to crush it. Jonathan Bailey, who won for Fellow Travelers, served high praise for his Wicked co-star Ariana Grande's first new song in three years. It's a bop. I think it's next level. I just think about her music and I think about how many people are going to snog for the first time on a dance floor to her music. It's like pure joy. Yeah, she's amazing. And here's more co-star love. Abbott Elementary's Lisa Ann Walter would be down to reunite with Parent Trap alum Lizzie Lowen. I guess we'd have to figure out a way to make her a relative since we're both redheads. Yes. Since I'm a redhead, um, and she actually is, that would be so fun. Oh, we missed you so much. The awards was not the only big news this weekend. Saturday night in Missouri, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey reunited. Holding hands with her man and wearing his number, a chilly Swift screamed and cheered Trav's Chiefs onto victory. Ah! Bear hugging Mama Kelsey in the suite, swag surfing the team's signature celebration, and giving fans high fours in honor of Trav's teammate Rasheed Rice. Tay was all in on the negative four degree game that froze coach Andy Reid's stash. Back in Beverly Hills, newlyweds Chris Evans and Alba Baptista were just caught serving up some rare PDA. I got married. Yeah. Uh, thank you. New photos, Chris and Alba holding hands and then kissing in the middle of a pasta restaurant. The pair was on a triple date with Adrian Brody and Georgina Chapman, as well as Robert Pattinson and rumored fiance Suki Waterhouse, who's expecting their first baby. Something else that's going on? <laughs> And six months since Joe Manganiello filed to divorce Sofia Vergara, the Modern Family star is finally opening up about the media scrutiny. I have to say the press was very respectful and very nice, and I thought that they were going to invent more things. No, said what it was, and, and that was it. Last month, Joe made his red carpet debut with new girlfriend Caitlin O'Connor. Sophia's been out with orthopedic surgeon Justin Salomon. A lot of changes, bad things happen and good things happen. There's always time for more good stuff coming.